um, this week, another Halloween video, obviously, as I go over every time, it is Halloween month and I thought I would take advantage and do Halloween videos. For this video, uh, you may or may not notice I'm speaking really, really fast because we have a lot to go over. I'm going to go through how to make DIY organs and stuff like that. I'm going to put edible there, so DIY edible organs, even though they're 100% edible, they just maybe shouldn't be eaten. I don't know. I probably wouldn't properly eat them. I'll go through that after. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. Anyway, let's get started with the first thing that we're doing, which will be the DIY organs. Now, I have got this little bowl, because you're going to need a bowl. Um, basically, what we're going to make is some, uh, what's it called, gelatin. Um, this shit stinks, but it is edible. So what you're going to need for this is gelatin powder, glycerin or glycerol. I don't know what the difference is there, but they both work. Everything's so far away. And water. You will not be needing this much. I don't know why I did this much. I just want put some in there. You will also need a spoon, which is the one thing that I forgot to bring to the table. Give me two seconds. Basically, to make gelatin, what you want to do is have equal parts of these three. We're going to be needing a fair bit because we will be making organs with said gelatin. So I'm going to start with... Okay, so as you can see by some clips that I got from my close-up camera, um, I put some extra water into the thing and then I microwaved it for 15 seconds and then my camera went flat. So I went to charge it, it turned into a jelly thing, which again you saw on the other foot you would have saw it seen. So then I just microwaved it for another 15 seconds. You do not want this to boil, you want it to just melt a little bit once it gets too hot. So, and this is where I lost all of the footage, and I don't really know what went on, and I fucked up, and all of that sort of stuff. So basically, just put one drop of red food colouring in there, and it'll turn into a pink fleshy colour, and then, yeah, we're good to go. Grab your cup, take out your little side part that you put in there before you fucked up. Uh, and then just shake it around. Yeah, you want to shove this in there, make a little pocket. So you've got that sort of in a little... Bowling, bowl looking bit. You can just pour your flesh right in there. Getting as much as humanly possible. Gelatin can be saved and reused, so that's why. This next clip I'm about to show you is from when I fucked up. Um, the only way I fucked up was because I forgot to colour the gelatin before putting it into the mould. So I'm, this is just showing you how to make the mould. Yeah? You want to grab more paper towel roll and sort of stuff it in the side and make it into like a heart shape. I sort of want to place. Once you have um, shaped your heart into a heart, I also found it easier to shape it properly if you put the um, cling wrap filled thingy into a Ziploc bag. It just kind of gives it more of a pointed edge, but try and make sure that the actual point is sort of flipped over so it's not like an actual corner, if you know what I mean. If you don't, then don't worry about it because it's not that important. Um, and yes, and then it will look like this. Now, 
we get onto the fake blood tutorial to make our sad little heart over here a little more fresh looking. So I'm just going to chuck her, her, chuck our little heart in here and put her, why do I keep saying her? Oh my god. Over to the side. Why did I do that? Now you're going to need a book. But for now, we are making fake blood, so we will need for this honey, which is delicious. Blue food coloring, red. Oh, I nearly spilt that everywhere. Red food coloring, and hi. And wheat bix. This is not sponsored by wheat bix. This is just generally what I use. You can use. Whatever fucking cereal or lumpy stuff you want. Uh, I just find Wheat Bix gives it a nice little thing. Of course, you don't even have to use this. I just find it better. So, what you're going to want to do is grab your sp spoon that you're using for the gelatin. Or a new spoon. It doesn't really matter. Get all the gelatin off of it if you have to. Grab your honey. Squirt. Much blood as you want in there. Right. So I'm doing about this much honey because I want about that much blood. Okay, you want to grab your pet wherever that went. Oh, I put that one there. I do different ones for different things. I'm also going to put my gloves back on. Just because when you're working with food colouring, shit happens and I don't want to have colourful hands. Also, I said before that I was going to do a small SFX tutorial, but I don't think I will because um, I have to go out very soon after I finish this. This wasn't supposed to take this long. Um... But, there is gel all over this stuff. Yeah, it wasn't supposed to take this long. So grab your pipette, grab your red food coloring, and you want to put, I'm going to do three drops of the red. And mix that in. You will see it gradually change into what looks like jelly. Now the good thing about this blood is that because it's made from honey and food colouring, it's perfectly safe to eat. Ah! Do we see a theme here? Oh shit. Which is really good for, it's really good if you're doing like vampire or something where you need like bloody teeth. You can literally just sit there eating honey all day. So then you want to grab, I've used different pipettes but I don't think it really matters. Your blue. I uh, know, what, are you making purple? Uh, no. We are just making... You just want one drop in there. One drop at a time of the blue because if you put too much in there, it goes the wrong colour. This is looking quite perfect. So just mix that around everything in there. And it should turn to this. Oh. Yeah, I put too much blue in there. Shoot. Alright, so I'm going to add, oops, wrong one, same thing. More honey to lighten the load, and then I'm going to put more red in there. Fixing shit with me. So, more honey will just lighten it. As you can see, it's turned into a lighter purple. 
And we're just going to add some more red fuck with pipettes because we're going to need a fair bit of red to cover all that blue. So once you've got that, just mix it in and it looks like it's working, but we made that mistake before. Haha, -ha, yeah, bitch. So, <laughs> quick update. When I said I used this for like lumps and stuff, that's more of a scab blood kind of look. Something that, like a sore that's kind of scabbing up a little bit. Crystallized blood. We're not really wanting that for this heart at the moment, so we're just going to use this. I'll show you why in a minute. So basically, grab your beautiful little heart and then just place her into the blood and put the blood all over her. Cover her. She needs blood all over her. All in the crevices. You want to make sure the blood is thick on, like, if you if you're, if you're like mine and you've got little crevices like this. I'm trying to show you that it's not working. If you've got little bits like this, you want to make sure they are filled with my glove is coming off. My thumb is outside of the glove. I repeat. There we go. Ooh. Oh, this one's outside the glove as well. What the frick? There we go. We just... See, now it kind of looks a bit more gruesome. Boop, 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 boop. Still kind of pinkish. gonna grab it's still got on my hands what the I'm gonna grab all these Now because I lost the proper outro footage, here is the outro from the close-up camera's point of view. Sorry. I hope you liked it, I hope you got something out of it. And, is it filming? Yes. And, um, yeah, so this is the last proper Halloween video, because the next week is the monthly favourites. I've tried to make a little, tried to sort of put it into a little bit of a Halloween-y aspect. But I don't know how Halloween-y it's probably going to be. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. But either way, I hope you enjoyed it. And I really feel like we left this one off with a bang. So I will see you guys next week. Make sure to click the annotations at the end. And I love you guys. Bye.